Hey guys, welcome back to our first ever episode of our new series MBBS Reality. My name is Kayan. And my name is Kiana and today we'll be showing you the reality behind anatomy dissection hall. For those of you who do not know what a dissection hall is, so in a simple statement, a dissection hall is a place where the dead teaches the living. <laughs> The name Anatomy Dissection Hall itself brings back a lot of memories to us. So without any further delay, let's dive into the video. It is a dream room for many students. Before entering MBBS, whether you belong to a medical or a non-medical background, you all must be knowing what a cadaver is, that is a dead body, and how you cut them and learn anatomy from them. It is a whole new experience, the adrenaline rush that you get while holding scalpels, blades, scissors and forceps for the very first time, it makes you feel like a doctor on the very first day of your anatomy dissection hall. This is a privilege that only medical students get. No other field allows the students to even get closer to a cadaver. A cadaver lets us allow you know, to touch nerves, vessels, feel the bones, muscles and everything. It basically allows us to know the human body in and out, what it is actually made up of. It is also used as a central library or reading room by many students. As you progress in your journey of MBBS, you will find people bringing in books and sitting there to study. They may be studying for their part ending exams, internal exams or any other exams and you may find them sitting alone in a corner or with a friend where group, where group study discussions are going on where uh, one friend will be asking another friend to teach him or her a particular concept of a particular system. It's a place where people come to complete their journeys, be it histology diagrams, anatomy diagrams, embryology or gross anatomy diagrams. People are sitting there mugging up and drawing those diagrams. मतलब पूरे साल तो जर्नल्स टच नहीं करते और फिर लास्ट में जब ऐसे चेकिंग कंप्लीशन ऐसे सबमिशन आते हैं सब के हाथ में जर्नल्स दिखते हैं हमारे यहाँ ऐसा ही होता है इट इज आल्सो अ प्लेस ऑफ गॉसिप फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स यू मे फाइंड पीपल सिटिंग विद देयर फ्रेंड्स और इन ग्रुप्स वेयर द गॉसिप लिटरली अबाउट एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम ए टू जे they will be gossiping about teachers their hostel life also you may find some bitching about other students and some cry babies who will be nagging about why they chose mbbs you will also find some nerdy students who will be going around at every dissection table and asking people which book to study and which of like you know how much did you study last night you know and flex about them studying all night tours and and what not means there is every possible topic except anatomy being gossiped in the dissection hall it may also serve as a horror hall for some of the students they might be scared of touching the dead bodies or you will even find some people who are scared of seeing the dead bodies in the first place obviously there will be smell of formalin which will be present and uh, it will make you feel nauseous but uh, you will get used to it eventually during your further sessions and also during this covid era you all will be wearing masks so it will reduce the smell of the formalin to a much greater extent and you won't even recognize it when you go for maybe your fourth or fifth dissection session you won't even recognize it i remember that during our first dissection session a couple of students did faint in the in the hall well i don't I don't remember any of them fainting again in any of the further sessions. And also there are some students who don't remember anything about the body though it is taught in the you know lectures previously. And when the professors ask them to dissect or cut the body in front of you know 15 to 20 students they get so scared. And it's like the professors are you know having a rapid fire round with us right at the dissection table like they cut apart and they ask so many questions at once that It's so normal for a student to get nervous and scared. But don't worry, you learn gradually and you get used to it. 
and the most famous of all it is also known as the couples park or the romantic place for many couples you may also call it a real life tinder or bumble or any offline dating game well people come there just to sit next to their crush talk to them and you know just to see them obviously in medical colleges the number of girls are almost equal to that of boys and if we talk about our batch then the number of girls is actually more than that of the boys you will also find a lot of known or new faces there is a lot of excitement and no tension of fear to study in the initial phase so during this time the initial time you will find a lot of couples forming and also we have seen people sitting and around holding hands in a corner and not giving a damn about anyone or whatsoever is happening around them and most of the people are like hey, you can hear them talking it's like mere babu ne padhai kari mere babu ne thana khaya eh raha nahi jata tadap hi aisi hai na you will hear every sort of thing and the next category comes of the over smart teachers are are i mean the students who pretend to be the teachers there will be some students who will act as if they know each and everything like the professors they will read bdc cunningham grey's anatomy netlus atlas and what not and they will try as if they know each and everything they will come on the dissection table flex their dissection skills and they probably will go roaming on each and every table and you know acting very over smart and you will know them but also there are some nice saviors who genuinely help you during our exam times whereas these over smart ones never help you during our exam times you will not even find them close to you or anywhere near you during the exams or uh, these saviors you know the ones the good ones they do help you revise the whole systems or the whole you know syllabus during the exam times that's why they are saviors Well, last but not the least, we are here to represent the gamers, the chote scout, saste jana than ya dynamo idhar hi bante hain. During our first year, our savior was PUBG and Clash of Clans. Well, let us know in the comment section down below which game you used to play in your dissection hall lectures. We used to hide phones behind the books, or you know, we used to we used to sit behind our friends' back so we can secretly play during the lecture, and so the teacher won't catch us playing PUBG. There are also some stand-up comedians who come to the dissection hall, you know, to impress their crushes or whoever they like. समझ रहे हो? समझ रहे हो? समझ रहे हो ना? For this, they used to crack jokes and you know. Start a stand-up comedy right then and there. But you will also have a lot of fun watching these people cracking their jokes and making everyone laugh. All this has been going on from our seniors' time to our times, and also it will continue during our juniors. Well, there is all these new stories, different experiences. Well, all of this happens only in a dissection hall. There is no other place where you can find all this experience. Well, all the best if you haven't entered dissection hall till now, and if you already have, then do let us know what type of person you were and what you relate the most in the comments down below. So this is it for today's video, and we will catch you in the next video very soon. If you like our work, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share this video with your friends as much as possible.